To move your Google Drive folder to an external drive on a Mac, navigate to the Drive icon in the menu bar at the top right of your desktop. If you don't see the Drive icon, then navigate to Finder in the bottom left of your screen, select Applications from the Finder sidebar, and then double-click on Google Drive from the Applications list. Then, click on the gear icon in the top right of the Drive window and select Preferences from the menu that appears. In the new window, select Google Drive from the left column. You will see two options in the right column. Stream Files, which allows streaming from your cloud-stored Google Drive without storing the files locally on your computer, and Mirror Files, which stores the files in the cloud as well as in your computer's Google Drive folder. If Stream Files is selected, then this video likely doesn't pertain to you, unless you're now wanting to mirror your files on an external drive. Next, click on the Open in Finder button at the top of the right column to reveal the location of your drive folder in a Finder window. Currently, the name of the folder will likely be My Drive. The default location of your drive folder is in your user folder, so you can also find it by navigating there if that's easier. I went to my user folder for this demo, but you don't have to. Then, double-click on your external drive icon on your desktop to open it in a new window. If you don't see your external drive on your desktop, then you can select it in the Finder sidebar after opening a new Finder window by pressing Command and N on your keyboard. Also, if you need a new external drive, I've listed recommendations in the video description as well as another how-to video link to easily format it for Mac. With both windows open, click and drag the My Drive folder into the external drive window and wait for it to finish copying. For this demo, my folder is not large, but yours might take some time to transfer depending on the size. At this point, you can rename the folder if desired, but it doesn't matter either way. Next, click on the Google Drive window again and select the gear icon in the top right of the window. Then select Disconnect Account at the top to the right of your account name. In the prompt, review the messages, but this currently will not remove any files from the cloud or from your computer, but rather stop syncing between the two. Click the Disconnect button in the lower right of the prompt and Google Drive will disconnect your account. Google Drive will likely open a prompt to re-sign in automatically, but if not, launch Google Drive again. Then, click the Sign In button in the prompt. This will open a browser window where you can sign into your Google account. Follow the security prompts and then close out of the tab or window once you're signed in. Next, open Google Drive again on your desktop and once again select the gear and preferences from the menu. Click on Google Drive in the left column and you will see that the default selection in the right column is Stream Files. Click on the Mirror Files selection below and a prompt will pop up. The default location once again is in your user folder stored locally on your Mac. But now, click on Change Folder Location below. In the window that opens, choose your external drive in the Finder sidebar and then select your drive folder that you copied over earlier. Keep in mind, I renamed mine from My Drive to Google Drive. With the folder selected, click Open in the lower right and then you will see that the storage location will have changed to the folder on your external drive. Click Confirm Location in the lower right, and then click the Save button in the lower right of the Google Drive window. Click Restart Now in the prompt, and Google Drive will save your preferences and relaunch. Now you will see that your folder on your external drive is syncing with Google Drive, instead of the folder on your computer. You will also see that since you copied your folder over to the external, you don't have to re-download all of your files from the cloud, which potentially saves a lot of time. When you add a file to your external Google Drive folder, you will see it appear in Google Drive in the cloud, and when you make a change such as deleting a folder or file in the cloud, it will sync with your new folder. At this point, you can return to your original My Drive folder within your user folder on your Mac, and click and drag it to the trash knowing that when you click on the Google Drive location in Finder, it's now connected to your external hard drive. I would not recommend emptying the trash until you're absolutely sure that you've successfully transferred your files. If your external hard drive is ever disconnected, then your Google Drive location in Finder will let you know it can't be found. Rest assured, once you reconnect your external, everything will be available and start syncing again. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and please leave a comment if you have any questions so myself and other viewers have a chance to respond. Thanks.